Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate it a lot. So it's a beautiful day. I'm out for a bit of a snowshoe. I want to show you a piece of gear I've had for a couple months now. I haven't had much chance to use them. They're the Canadian Forces Mucklucks, made for extreme cold weather. A bit of military surplus gear that's proven itself over time. Let's take a look. So I slipped these off to give you a closer look. I ended up buying these from a website up here in Canada called MTL Armory. Shipping was fast, communication was great. You can't really ask for much more than that. So I'll link MTL Armory if you're interested in taking a look. Now, these are a muckluck. They may not be made out of traditional materials like animal skins, but they are a muckluck. They're not a pack boot. A pack boot would have rubber more up to this level. This only has rubber in the toe, heel, and of course the sole. Now, you can see there's not a lot of tread on the sole. I wouldn't really recommend these for hiking. They're mainly designed for snowshoeing. Now, the design allows for a lot of flexibility in the toe area and also in the heel, okay, which makes them ideal for snowshoeing, in my opinion. And I also found these really comfortable. First time I put a pair of these on, I said, these feel just like slippers. They really are that comfortable. These boots are extremely warm. They're designed for extreme cold weather, Arctic conditions really. So I wouldn't really recommend that you use these in conditions above minus 10 C. You want to use these in conditions where the snow is nice and fluffy. No moisture in the snow or very little moisture in the snow. All right. Now they achieve this warmth by using a layering system. So what I'm going to do is take the contents of the boot out, show them to you in detail. That way you'll know if you buy a pair of these boots, what should be included. So each boot consists of four pieces. The boot itself, this wool liner, this wool insole, and this plastic mesh insole. So this plastic mesh insole actually has holes in it. And it's very important that you have this in your boot. What it does is wicks moisture away from your foot, which will keep your foot warmer. And because it's mesh, it allows for a little bit of air circulation. That's very important. On top of that goes this thick felted wool insole. It's thick, so it gives you some comfort. And it also gives you quite a bit of insulation. On top of that goes this wool liner. And that all goes in the boot, of course. Now, this wool liner is very unique, I believe. I've not seen it in any other boot. So let's take a look at this wool liner in more detail. So here's what I like about these wool liners. They're thick, they're warm, but they're designed in such a way that there's two layers. And these layers are connected, but they come apart just like this. Because now they're in two layers, you can hang them up quite easily and they'll dry much faster. They go back in just the way you took them out. Ready to go. Now, that's all put back together. Now I really want to get my boots back on because my foot is freezing. First thing that goes in is this plastic mesh insole. The wool insole on top of that. And now this super warm wool liner slips in. They go together pretty easy. Ready to put on. It feels so good to get that boot back on. Thanks very much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I thought I'd just take a few minutes, show you those boots. I'm liking them so far. I hope it was of some interest and some help to you. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, and share. Bye for now.